This is the story of Spud's life, our lovely dog we had for 17 years. So he came to us when we lived in Uktharard, County Galway, when Connor was four. He was there for everything with Connor. And when we worked on the farm and we were growing food, oh, he was great fun. Connor had so much fun with him down around the polytunnels. And I suppose you could say Spud was always up for a play. Throw a stick, throw a stone. He was amazing. Advent- he loved snow. He found snow so much fun. And he was that's a real Spud. He was, where are we going? Where's the fun? And he was always ready. Really, really really wonderful dog for Connor to grow up with and there's Connor when he was starting Montessori Spud was there for that transition and Connor would love having the hugs at him when he'd come back from school and, and here he is for another transition when we were leaving and moving to Clock Jordan and this is my indulgence I got to put him into a few dog shows play out my own childhood when I used to bring my dogs to shows this is up in Banlaslow. He loved chasing the pigs up there when he'd be with my parents. And here he is in Clock Jordan as we were going to build our house. He's overseeing the site. This is on the site of there the house is built. Yeah, he was there for it all. He Connor would see him when he'd come home from Kilkenny College. They'd have hugs. He was always up for a ball and he killed many's a ball in his day. <laughs> and here's some really nice pictures around Clock Jordan taken by Garode. Gro brought him for lots of walks out on the bog, you know, up the fields, different adventures together. And then these are the girls, our neighbours' labs. He loved them. Yeah, and then he started to get a bit older and his personality changed. He, he definitely chilled out as an old boy, but he still liked to... This is him looking at the swans in Templemore. <laughs> but yeah, he did love snow. And you can see him changing as he's getting older. And he kind of, his fur thickened and his shape changed. And here he is for his last walk up in Knocknacree with Garod. And then Connor went to college and he was there with Connor to see him off to college. And this is what he spent his time with us the last couple of years, hanging around, looking for treats, very mellow. And here he is getting treats on his 17th birthday, which was just here in May, passed by. And we gathered for social distancing, birthday for Spud, celebrate his life. It was so good to have him there with us for 17 years. And here he is with me, only the day before he died. His last hangout with me as I was listening to music in the sitting room. And unfortunately, he died the next day. Luckily, we could bury him in our garden and you know, plant up a flower bed. And we'll have his memory there forever. He really was an amazing dog, and I know everyone who knows him loved him. Spud, definitely best dog ever. We love you, and thank you for everything.